Adobe has released its new AI based image generation tool called Adobe Firefly and in this video we are going to take a look at it. We are going to create a couple of examples and after that we are going to compare it with mid journey with the help of a couple of prompts and let's see which one gives the best results. So let's begin. Alright, so here we are in Adobe Firefly and as you can see that currently it's in beta. So if you want to access it, then you have to apply for the beta version. And once you are approved, you can access these. And right now we are able to access only these two, which are text to image and the text effect. And there are a lot of more things that are coming up and hopefully they will be released soon. But for now, let's focus on these things. So if you click on generate, you can see that it will give you access where you can enter your text prompt and you can type whatever you want. Here we have a couple of examples that people have created and you can also see the prompt that people used in order to get these results. And if you want to access and create anything, then you can just type here. So for example, if I type a cute dog wearing yellow boots and I click on generate and it will do the AI magic to generate the images. So here you can see we have got four results. Now you will notice that we have a couple of options over here as well. So you can change the content type if you want to make this into a photo. Then you can select the photo option and it will give them more of a natural look instead of illustration. But if you want, you can go with the graphic one as well. So here you can see now these are looking more of graphical and digital artworks, something like this. Now over here we have a bunch of different styles which you can play around and we also have options for color tones. So all these options are pretty much similar. So you can just type whatever prompt you want and it will create a AI generated image. And this is something that a lot of other platforms are doing. So now I'm going to compare the results from Adobe Firefly with that of mid journey. So for that I have like eight prompts which I'm going to input in both of these platforms and I got some results. So I'm going to share them with you right now. So for the first prompt, I typed magical forest with tall trees and a river flowing through it. So these are the results that I got from Firefly. And as you can see that all of these look very natural. They have very nice lighting and it has pretty much done all the things that we have asked for. We have a forest, we have a river flowing through it. And all of these images are looking very amazing. And with the mid journey, these are the results that I got. And as you can see that there is a difference between these two. So these are more of a natural looking kind of vibe. And but over here we are getting some digital sort of look, some illustration or painting sort of thing. And also you will notice that all of these are very much same. You can see that they have the similar kind of composition. Moreover, it has taken care of our prompt and it has created everything that we asked for. We cannot compare both of them because these are more of a natural looking and these are of stylized illustration type. I think both of them are looking good in their respective place. So I will give one more point to each. So for the next one, I asked for a man looking at a futuristic city with flying cars and skyscrapers. And these are the results that I got from Firefly. And you can see that it has done a very amazing job. So we are able to see a man who is standing and looking at a futuristic city with some flying cars in it. And if you ask for the mid journey, this is the vision that I got. You might have noticed that mid journey gives you more of an illustration kind of look. And you can see that these are very high res and pretty amazing. I really like the color scheme that we got over here. And for this one, I think both of them did a very nice job, but I like the results from the Firefly mode because they are more natural looking. And this is something that we can get from a movie scene. So I will give this to Firefly. And for the next prompt, I asked him to design a logo for a shoe brand called Shoe Bar. And these are the results which I got from Firefly. And you can see that none of them have got the text right. So I asked for a brand called Shoe Bar and all of these have spelling mistakes. And I don't think these are looking very nice. So I think it did a bad job when creating these logos. And if you ask the mid journey, so these are the results that I got from there. And I think that these logos are very amazing. But again, it was not able to get the text right just like with the firefly but the results that i got are very amazing and you can see that these are some very nice logos we can probably get rid of the text and type on our own but overall these logos are much better as compared to the firefly so i'll give this one to mid journey for the next prompt i asked for an illustration of a dragon breathing fire and standing on a mountain top and these are the results that I got from Firefly. And if you looked at the prompt, I asked for a dragon breathing fire. And you can see that none of these images have dragon breathing fire. This one has a little bit of fire in the mouth, but most of the fire is in the mountain, which we don't ask for. And again, over here as well, the fire is coming from the wings, I guess. And it was not coming from the mouth. Same as with these two images. 
But when I asked the same thing for mid journey, these are the results that I got. And you can see that these are very amazing. And it has done all the things that we asked for. We have dragon, which is sitting on top of a mountain. And you can see that the fire is coming from the mouth as compared to the ones that we got from Firefly. And it did a very nice job. I think these are very high detailed. And I really like the results that came out from the mid journey as compared to the Firefly. So I'll give this one to the mid journey. For the next prompt, I asked it to create a landscape of a beautiful sunset over the ocean with sailboats in the distance. And this is the result that I got from Firefly. These look directly coming from a camera and these are very amazing. You can't even tell that if these are generated by AI. And for the mid journey, these are the versions that I got. And again, you can see that all of these images are pretty much similar. They have same kind of vibe and colors. And you might have noticed that mid journey gives you more of an illustration kind of digital look whereas the adobe firefly try to gives you a natural kind of image which looks more real life and for this one i will give it to firefly because i like these more natural looking kind of shots and for the next prompt i asked it to create a man sitting with a dog in a dark room watching tv with light coming from window you can see that there are a lot of things that we have put into this prompt. So these are the results that I got from Firefly. And I would say that these are not exactly what I asked for. So first we asked for a man sitting with a dog. And you can see that in all of these prompts, we have a person sitting with a dog. But you will notice that all of these are not looking good. And you can see that we have more artifact and not proper bodies of these images. And you will notice that the face of this dog is not looking good. And also same thing goes over here as well. And after that, I asked him to do all of these in a dark room. And you can see that none of these rooms are looking much dark. These are very well lit. This one is a little bit darker, but again, it is not giving us the vibe of a dark room. And we also asked for a TV. And you can see that we only got TV in this image. And rest of these, we don't have any sort of TV in this one, nor in this one as well. We do have something over here but I don't think this looks much of a TV, but it did get the window part, right? So we have window from where the light is coming into the scene. So overall, the result is not that good. And these are the results that I got from mid journey. So right away, you can see it got all the parts, right? So we have a man sitting with the dog in all of these frames and more, all of these are dark rooms. We have a window in each of them and light is coming through them. And we do have TV in this one this one as well and over here we have this thing i don't know if this is a tv or not and we have a tv clearly here as well and i really like the color schemes that mid journey is going with over here and i think these results are much better as compared to the firefly so i'll give this one to mid journey and for the next prompt i wanted it to create something that we have never seen before so i asked him to create a picture of a cute and cuddly creature that we have never seen before and both of them did a very nice job so these are the results that i got from firefly and you can see that all of these creatures are very cute with their big and shiny eyes and i think firefly did a very good job and we got these results with the mid journey you can see that all of these are very amazing all of these are looking cute with big and shiny eyes just like with the firefly version and these three do look like more of a owl kind of structure but i would give points to both of these as all of these images are very amazing and it did the exactly what we asked for and for our last prompt i asked him to create a alien planet with strange and unique plants and animals and this is the result for the firefly you can see that we have a alien planet with some strange plants and we are not able to see any kind of animal in this one but i really like the results that i got from the firefly and these are the results that came from the mid journey and you can see that these are very vibrant and we do have a couple of creatures in this and we do have some plants. I really like this result from the mid journey and you can see results from both the platforms. I would say that all of these are pretty much similar and over here we have little bit of variations when it comes to colors and the composition. So I'll give this one to mid journey as well. So these are the final results and I would say that mid journey is quite amazing because it has been out there for quite some time and Adobe just released their Firefly version and we know that with the passage of time the AI will get improved and it will give us some nice results. Rest I leave all these up to you. You can mention in the comments to tell me which results you like the more from the Firefly or the mid journey. And there's a lot going in the AI field. And if you want me to cover those as well, then you can mention in the comments as well. I would happy to read what you guys want to see. So that's it for this video. And if you have any queries or questions, then you can ask in the comments as well. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.